Hello and thanks for watching this Acumatica video on inventory replenishment. So Acumatica can monitor your stock levels and based on your reorder points and based on your demand can automatically generate purchase orders to keep your stock levels ready to go for either the next sale or any sales that you have outstanding. So let's create an item to get this started. We'll create a speaker item. and we'll select an item class. Now let's take a look at this item class because there's some important settings in there. The first one is replenishment settings. So Acumatica can use a hard demand to determine the demand calculation. Hard demand means that the item is either on back order or it's on an open shipment. And those combinations of documents will contribute to the demand. But if you select item class, then under general settings, there's an availability calculation. Now if we open that up, you can see how Acumatica determines what the availability is, which drives the demand. So for example, you can deduct quantities on all these various documents. You can include quantities on inbound documents, such as purchase order receipts and that kind of thing. So let's close that. We're going to leave this on item class settings for this demonstration. Now we want to make this item not serial or lot tracked. And if we go to replenishment info, there's a few settings that are important here. So replenishment parameters allow you to drive stock based on the different parameters that are important to you. So we have a different replenishment class. Additionally, we have a seasonality calculator. We'll get back to seasonality in a second. Then we have the source. The source is what do we want to do when we run low on stock for this item? Where do we want to get it from? Purchase allows us to create purchase orders. But we also have manufacturing. We can transfer from another replenishment warehouse. We can produce drop ships specifically for this item. So in other words, I don't want to keep this item in stock. Instead, I always want you to drop ship this item right to the customer. Or we can do a purchase to order where, again, it's a special order item, but I need to bring it into my warehouse and ship it out myself. So those are your options there. If we select either of these, then every time this item is placed on a sales order, the item will be configured for drop shipment or purchase to order but we're going to leave this at purchase. Then our methodology. So we have two different methods. Min max means that if I have a reorder point of, for example, 10, I'll reorder up to 20. So for example, if I get down to 10, I'm going to order quantity 10 in order to get myself back up to stock, including whatever I have on hand. Now currently this item is brand new, so there's no stock for this yet. So keep that in mind when you see the numbers. The other option is fixed reorder quantity. We'll come back to this and we'll show you an example of this in a second. Now additionally, and we're not going to go into this, but additionally the demand forecast. So Acumatica can monitor your current sales based on perhaps a couple of days or a couple of weeks or a couple of months back. And it can analyze these sales and predict what your reorder point should be. So you might factor in a safety stock. Safety stock gives you a little extra on top of your reorder points. But based on your sales, 84% of the time, the system will make sure that you have that item available in stock. Now you can change this percentage. You can change it to 100 if you want. That'll greatly inflate your reorder points because now the system is predicting for sales that may or may not come. So 84% is more of an industry standard. But based on this 84%, Acumatica will select reorder points to try to keep you in stock. Now additionally, there's the seasonality. So if we go into seasonality, we can define different times in the calendar, for example, holidays, and the system can add a factor on top of your normal reorder points. For example, during the holiday season, Acumatica can add about 50% onto your normal reorder point. 
But as we start to get close to Christmas and we get through January, it can take half off to attempt to predict your sales trends and what you might need in your warehouse to fulfill orders. So let's turn that off for now and we'll save this item. And now let's take a look at our inventory replenishment. So we'll click on inventory down under replenishment, prepare replenishment. We'll select the wholesale warehouse. We'll turn off the product manager and you could see our audio speaker. So Acumatica knows that we have zero of these in stock. And because our minimum reorder point is 10, well, obviously we've hit that but it's gonna get us up to our max quantity of 20, which is why it's ordering 20. Now in the screen, you have the ability to tweak these numbers any way you want before processing them. So if I were to select this and say process, and then go over to purchases and go create purchase orders, if I scroll to the bottom, you'll see our audio speaker and the quantity 20. Acumatica separates these because while these are inventory replenishments, some may come from different sources, such as sales order directly, sales order to purchase, or drop ship, or manufacturing. So, but here we have quantity 20, and if we wanted to create this and select it, there's no default vendor, we didn't set one up for this, so we need to select that default vendor here. and then process. Now, because we're only creating one purchase order, Acumatica is gonna bring us right to that purchase order. If we'd created multiple different purchase orders to different vendors, then Acumatica would have given us the status and all the purchase orders would have shown up under purchases, purchase orders. So here's our purchase order to Eastcom for the quantity 20. Now, this particular item is removed off our prepare replenishment, our create purchase orders. However, if I delete the purchase order, which I wanna do, because I wanna show you a few more examples, and I go back to prepare replenishment and refresh, select our warehouse again, uncheck the product manager, you can see the audio speakers come right back here. So Acumatica knows that we have it on a purchase order, therefore it will remove these items as you start your purchase process. So now let's go in and show a different example. Let's select our fixed reorder quantity. Fixed reorder quantity designates that as soon as you get below your reorder point, instead of getting to your max quantity, it'll look at the vendors you have set up. We'll select one. And it'll use the economic order quantity. So we'll select 100. The economic order quantity is used by vendors to ensure that you don't order piecemeal, that you order enough quantity to make it profitable for the vendor to do business with you. Typically, they will accept smaller orders. Of course, this depends on your vendor, but they might give you a surcharge for it. So we've selected this economic order quantity of 100, and we're now on fixed reorder quantity. So let's go back to prepare replenishment. Let's refresh, select our warehouse, uncheck our product manager, and now you can see Acumatica's ordering 100. So that's the economic order quantity. If we had driven past the need for more than 100, Acumatica will do it in blocks of economic order quantity that the vendor's given us. Now let's go back to min max. We'll save it. And let's throw this item on a sales order. As we talked about at the beginning in our item class, we talked about the demand calculation. In our scenario, we're using the item class and its availability calculator. So for example, if I open up and create a brand new sales order, and I add our speaker. And let's say I put quantity 50 on this and save it. If I go back to prepare replenishment and reset it, now Acumatica is ordering us 70. 
Let's do the math. We go back to our stock item and look at the replenishment. We have none in stock, so Acumatica is going to get us to our max quantity of 20. On top of that, though, we have a quantity of 50 on a sales order. So in order to get us to our max quantity and fulfill this order or orders that happen to be out there, Acumatica is ordering us quantity 70. Now, if I process this, we'll go through this step again, and we go to create purchase orders. What you'll notice here is the quantity 70, but because we selected a default vendor, it now shows up here. So we don't have to select it every time. And again, that's under vendor details. We have our default vendor here. You can have as many vendors as you want here with varying economic order quantities and lead times and that kind of thing. So if we create this purchase order and process it, we now have our purchase order for Eastcom for the quantity 70. So that's inventory replenishment. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day.